<laughs> so, and a clean mention. So this is called <clears throat> The Cremation of Sam McGee by Robert Service. There are strange things done beneath the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. <laughs> the northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was the night on the marge of Lake LaBarge, where I cremated Sam McGee. <laughs> now, Sam McGee was from Tennessee, where the cotton blooms and blows, and why he left his home in the south to roam around the poles, God only knows. He was always cold, yet the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. Though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. On a Christmas day, we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your cold through the parka's fold. It stabbed like a driven nail. If our eyes we closed and the lashes froze, till sometimes we couldn't see. It wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam the Gee. And that very night, while we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, and the dogs were fed, and the stars overhead were dancing, Heel and toe. And he turns to me and cap, says he, I'll just cash in this trip, I guess. But if I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he looks so low that I couldn't say no. Then he says with sort of a moan, It's this cursed cold. It's got right home, till I'm chilled, clean through to the bone. Yet it ain't being dead, it's my awful dread of an icy grave that pains. So I want you to swear that foul or fair, you'll cremate my last remains. Now, friend's last need is a thing to heed, and I swore I would not fail. And then we started on at the streak of dawn. God, he looked ghastly pale. He crouched in the sleigh, and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. But before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death. And I hurried on, horror driven, with a corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid because of a promise given. It was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say, You may tax your brawn and your brains, but you promised true, and it's up to you to cremate my last remains. <laughs> now, a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the day to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart how I cursed the load. And every night, by the lone firelight, while the huskies round in a ring, howled out their woes. To the endless snows, oh God, how I loathe the thing. And every day, that quiet clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. Yet on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad, and I felt half mad, yet I swore I would not give in. And I'd often sing to the hateful thing, and it hearkened. Barge, and a derelict there lay. It was stuck in the ice, but I say in a thrice it was called the Alice May. I looked at it. I thought of it. <laughs> then I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I, with a sudden cry, it's my inventorium! <laughs> with some planks I, I tore from the pack. 
cabin floor, I kicked the boiler fire. With some fuel I found that was lying around, I kicked the fuel up higher. The flames just soared and the furnace roared. A blaze you seldom see. And I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal. And I stuffed it. For I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. And the heavens scowled, and the huskies howled. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! And the wind began to blow. It was icy cold, yet the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks, and I don't know why. While an inky cloak of greasy smoke down the sky. I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grizzly fear. But the stars came out and danced about. Ere again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peep inside. I guess he's cooked. It's time I looked. Then the door I opened wide. And In the heart of the furnace roar, he wore a smile you could see a mile, and he said, "Please shut that door, for it's fine in here. But I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree back in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warm." <laughs> Night on the marge of Lake Labarge, where I cremated. 